Walk into the boat. Walk into the boat. It's cloudy. Water's definitely stained, but you know, I think it looks good. You know, I'm almost tempted to just go through these docks flipping around through there because it, it don't look bad. You know, right there, I mean, it's got some color to it, but you can see. Definitely could be some fish hanging around that dock. You never can tell. I guarantee you one thing, we flip around the dock, we will save gas. So we will see. Do, 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 do. You like my redneck rig? Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel here on Camo Crappie. And today we are trying to catch these pre spawn crappie. And there's a few in the brush piles, but really, we popped one there. They're uh, just kind of out roaming. And got a quick video for you today to kind of show you what we were doing. We didn't get both cameras up, we uh, didn't know how long we were going to fish, just kind of ran out there real quick. But before we get into everything, remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you want to, share the videos. That would be great. We appreciate all the support that everybody in the community has given us. And let's kind of get into this, kind of what we're seeing. We've, the lake, uh, at this time, they were pulling it really hard, and the lake levels are coming down. They were actually lower today. I filmed this on in the week and they were actually lower today than what they were but they've stabilized the lake out so if you're wondering what the conditions are on green river lake i think on this day the water temps might have been around 50. i know yesterday i'm doing the voiceover on saturday night so yesterday friday the water tips were 52 and today main lake water temps were 48 47 and up in the creeks i heard some we're seeing 50 in the low to mid 50s but what I'm doing is I'm just kind of scanning around and there's a good eating size crappie I'm just kind of scanning around and not even really fishing um, yeah that there is a cute cat that's a catfish but just scanning around I think I actually caught it out of like four foot of water there but I'm just scanning around looking for some bigger signatures there's a ton of fish and really, honestly, all over the lake, there's fish everywhere. There's nowhere that I honestly believe you can stop anywhere on the lake and catch crappie. I checked some different stuff today and found crappie on it. Um, probably would have had 15 keepers and wasn't even like even going to the best areas or looking, you know, in, in the better spots. Uh, that's a that's a decent fish but where i would suggest uh looking there's plenty of fish anywhere on the lake but i'd suggest you know probably hitting up towards the creeks more i think there's warmer water up there i know the closer i got uh up the creek today the warmer the water was and i just know for a fact that uh that they're catching them up the creeks uh, as far as like your bigger crappie your pound and a half crappie. I'm not sure. Um, caught some that were a pound and a half last week, and they, um, you know, they weren't weren't necessarily on the main lake or in the creeks, um, kind of just in between. But all of the bigger fish that I've caught have pretty much come just like what I'm going to show you here, and that is getting out away from the brush and just looking for a bigger signature and this one here you can see 
it looks you know it looks like a really good signature and and you see how high up in the water column it is uh yeah so the water temp there is 50 degrees but you can see it's way up in the water column so i'm having to keep my bait uh, extremely high and if you've seen any of my other videos you know that i'll run a half ounce egg sinker anywhere from 18 inches to three feet above my actual bait so it's not even the egg sinker's not even in the water uh, at this point and the objective is is you've just got to keep it up over its head these these fish which today um uh, and which this video here is like three or four days old uh to when i'm doing this voiceover i've actually fished twice since i recorded this and i got footage yesterday I, I filmed today but i don't think any of the footage is really going to be all that great and you see i popped him right off the top of the water and you look he's going to turn out i mean probably nine nine and a quarter inch fish but not nearly what the signature was and i wonder if i don't know if the sun what the deal was making it look so big uh on the screen because he he's he was swolled up i mean yeah he'll eat but definitely you know I've seen signatures with these exact same settings look like that and be pound and a quarter pound and a half fish. So not really sure what the deal was on this one here. I actually caught this fish while I was zoomed out. That's like 65 feet. And the reason why I was so zoomed out was I was just looking for uh, other fish and that, you know, another keeper, but uh, we, you know, we want bigger fish. And see, there's no structure around. It's just sitting there all by itself, which today, or in this video, it works out really good. So if you've watched any of the other videos, you know, this whole winter I've had to fish in snow, rain, and see, I had to come back. I went over top of the fish. He didn't give any reaction, so I had to come back to it. Well, look at that. You can even see the pole move. But swing and a miss, it happens. You can't catch them all. But I'm catching a lot of white bass. I did, I think I got some white bass on camera today. But I don't know if I'll put them in a video or not. The, I mean, they're, they're big old fish. You know, 14, 14, 15 inch fish with their, with their white bass. But they're kind of moving too. They're higher up in the water column. And... They're shaped just like a, a big crappie, so it's kind of hard not to chase them down sometimes. And here, just another shot of the live scope. What I'm doing is I, I have to, you can look at the trolling motor, I have to move the head just a little bit, just so then I make sure I know exactly where that fish is. See, I, I lose it, so I turn that trolling motor back, the trolling motor, back over to where I can see this fish and then I'm just getting the bait right over in front of it and just always above it. You see it's still it's even taking them a little while to uh to to get on it. But that's that's kinda what we've been doing. Uh last week saw the video. If you didn't see it, catch it uh one with my Dad and Michael, great video. Uh, we had some great videos in the winter and even on other lakes doing the same similar technique as this. So that's kind of how, how they still are right now. I mean, you can catch some in the brush piles, but really you just kind of got to get out and, uh, and search for them. And I'll be honest with you, I have been doing, I've just been fishing. I've been, whatever bites, I mean, we've, We've caught catfish, we've caught white bass, we've caught crappie. We've caught a little bit of everything. Um, I did do a guide trip this week. I have some more scheduled. Um, you can hit me up through email or on my Facebook page if you have any questions about uh, one of those. You know, we'll teach you the live scope, teach you how to kind of stage up on these fish. And uh, if anybody's interested, we have that. But you know just enjoying this extra hour of sunlight so we will leave you 
with this here i'm gonna try to get a video out and you see that's not a crappie rod i'm gonna try to get a video out the uh of this here with some other uh not crappie catches and uh, hopefully that'll come in the middle of the week so be sure to uh subscribe and hit the notification so you'll be notified whenever those come out this is uh, from this video this is the end of the day and these were the two best that i caught for that evening so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the water